Shikuna Masa. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no
Jesus. We're here to exalt you, Lord God, because you're worthy. Hallelujah. No one else got the glory. No one else got the praise, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name, Jesus. We magnify you this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless you, oh God. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Jesus. You are worthy, Lord God. You are worthy to be praised, Lord Jesus. What a mighty God you are, Lord Jesus. Angels bow before you. Heaven and earth adore you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless you, God. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Hallelujah. You're worthy, oh God. You are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Waking us up this morning, Lord God. In our right minds, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we bring the sacrifice of praise into your house this morning, Lord. Hallelujah. Accept our offerings to you, Jesus. Glory to your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Just bow your heads this morning. Father, our God and our King, this is the day you have made. Hallelujah. Lord, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord God, we are here to worship you. Nothing else, Lord Jesus. No one else gets the glory. No one else gets the praise, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You're worthy of it, Lord God. As we stand in your house, we're just thankful, Lord God, for all that you have done for us in this past week. Oh God, you woke us up in our right minds and Lord, we're here just to give you thanks. We're here just to give you praise. Hallelujah. We're here to lift you up and to adore your mighty name, Lord Jesus. There is no God like Jehovah and we are thankful. We are grateful as we're about to worship you some more, Lord God. I pray that you may inhabit our praise, Lord God. When the praises go up, the blessings will come down. And that's why we're here this morning. Bless us now, I pray, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Before I read the scripture, I just want to greet the Holy Spirit, which is the head of our lives. I'd like to greet our bishop and all the elders all the ministers and all the auxiliaries in the name of Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. God is so good. We're here. We made it safe. Many people set out to go to church, to go wherever they were going this morning, and they didn't make it. Accidents, you've probably seen yourself on the road, but God, he brought us here safely, and we're grateful. That's enough to give God praise for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to read for morning's uh, instruction from Exodus 12, verse 12 to 14. Praise God. I'll read in your hearing. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both men and beasts, and against all the gods of, of Egypt. I will ex execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are and when I see the blood hallelujah whenever I read that portion I just have to repeat it when I see the blood I will pass over you and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt verse 14 and this day shall be unto you for a memorial and he shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Let's say amen. amen. Right this time, our praise team will come to us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Aren't you glad that the blood has passed all over you? Come on and give him praise this afternoon. 
because I know the blood still works the blood still works hallelujah hallelujah we thank God for the blood this morning we thank God because it never loses its power hallelujah hallelujah because it reaches to the highest mountain and then it flows to your lowest valley it is the same blood that gives you strength from day to day it will it hasn't ever and it will never lose its power the blood is still the same yesterday today and forever the blood still works i dare you to breathe the blood of jesus in my home i need your blood jesus hallelujah hallelujah we thank you for the blood this afternoon we thank you for your blood jesus your blood saves your blood keeps your blood delivers even now the blood of jesus is fighting some demons if you only knew what the blood was doing for you you would shout hallelujah thank god thank god for the blood thank god for the blood i don't deserve it but thank you thank you thank you for reaching thank you for healing thank you for covering hey thank you for covering me jesus thank you it was only the blood that kept you in a pandemic the blood hey the blood was in my home the blood was on my car the blood of jesus it will never lose hallelujah the blood will never lose because we serve an undefeated champion hallelujah thank you for the blood jesus thank you for the blood hey, i get excited when i think of the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood yes it won't expire the blood the blood hallelujah 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 and because we know the blood still works We thank you for your blood, Jesus. Where will you be without the blood of Jesus? What would you do without the blood of Jesus? Oh God, I appreciate your blood. You don't have to wait for Easter to give God thanks for his blood. Start from now. Hallelujah! Glory! Kuna Yabashanda! The blood, the blood, the blood! The blood, the blood, the blood! Hayabashanda! Jesus, Jesus! We thank you for your blood! Thank you for your blood, Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. You are welcome. Come on in, Jesus. Take a seat. And have it our praise, oh Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for the blood. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You are welcome. Come on in, take a seat. God is lying. Judas lying. We acknowledge your presence, oh Lord. Take a seat. Inhabit our 
as we enter this place show us your faith god please give us peace we welcome your presence oh lord oh holy you are welcome come on in take a seat
thy name in all the earth even when the music stops your name is still excellent even when service is over your name is still worthy to be praised I have no reason to stop giving you praise the truth is you're always looking out for me even when I'm sleeping somehow my heart is beating and it could only be because of your grace and your mercy so this morning we just want to remain close to Jesus we don't want to be far from Jesus I can't afford to live out of the presence of the Holy Spirit I want to be close to him Just to be close to you, just to be close to you, is my desire. Just to be close to you, just to be close to you, tell Jesus, just to be close to you. Is my desire just to be close, just to be close to you, just to be close to you? We want to be with you, Jesus. Pass me not, oh gentle Savior. Can we sing it one more time? Just to be close to you. Just to be close, just to be close to you is my desire. Draw me close to you, Jesus. Draw me close to you. Never let me go. Never let. Lay it all down again. I lay it all. I lay it all down again. To hear him say that I'm his friend. To hear you say that I'm. Oh, is he your desire this afternoon? You, Jesus, you are my desire. No. Jesus, no, yeah, oh Lord, no one else can take your place, not Alan, not Muhammad, but Jesus, Jesus, to feel the warmth of your Jesus, help me find my way and bring me back, bring me back to you. Yeah, Lord, oh, Lord, you're all, you're all. I want. Is he all you want this afternoon? 
afternoon. It's in the air that you breathe. It's in your all. It's in your everything. Have you broken every idol? Have you broken them? Have you, have you, have you any rivers that you can? Yeah, well, he'll help you cross them. He'll help you move mountains.
help us Jesus help Jesus help Jesus hey help Jesus help Jesus help Jesus I need your help Jesus help Jesus help Jesus help me Jesus help me Jesus Help me know you I need Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Glory Hallelujah Hallelujah And now the announcements Will play in your hearing Hallelujah Thank you Welcome to Kingdom Life Ministries. We are happy to have you in person and online. From our pastor, Bishop Barrington, and First Lady, Minister Kareem Smith, thank you for joining us in worship today. My name is Brother David Lawrence. Today is Brotherhood Sunday and our topic, Spiritual Insurance. Join us in worship. Here are the announcements for the week of March 27. Our prayer times for this week are Monday, Wednesday and Friday evenings at 7.30 p.m., Tuesday and Thursday mornings at 5 a.m., and on Thursdays, Bible study will be at noon on Zoom. Every first and third Sundays, we have Christian education on Zoom at 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Every second and fourth Sunday, the Holy Ghost Clinic is in operation at 10 a.m. On the Kingdom Life prayer list, Please pray for the men of Kingdom Life. If you can, make sure to grab someone's name and pray for them throughout the week. We will also pray for our Kingdom Life family and friends we have not seen in the sanctuary for an extended period of time. We are praying for their return to the sanctuary and areas of ministry. Please remember to pray for our pastor, first lady, assistant pastor, and their families. It's Easter time. If you would like to order bun and cheese, please see Sister Candace Smith or call 647-298-0395. That's 647-298-0395 to place your order. Cornerstone House of Refuge, Suffragan Bishop Desmond Hutchinson and the Saints of Cornerstone House of Refuge invites us to their 30th church anniversary on Saturday, April 2nd, and Sunday, April 3rd in Ottawa, Ontario. The guest speaker for the weekend will be Bishop Barrington Smith from Kingdom Life Ministries. This will be a memorable weekend as it will be the last service at 1196 Wellington Avenue. We are looking forward to seeing you there. If you are interested in going to Ottawa, please see missionary Marcia Fraser in Admin 1 after service today. The Canada District Council Spring Conference will be held from Thursday, April 28th to Saturday, April 30th. Our council will be held at Logos Apostolic Church of Reconciliation. Registration is only $15. Please visit the CanadaPAW.ca website for detailed information. An email was sent from our K-Life General Mailbox to members on our mailing list. We want to see you here in person. Registration to attend services is no longer required, so we are inviting friends of Kingdom Life to join us in person for service on Sundays in our 9 a.m. and or 11.30 a.m. services. When attending Kingdom Life Ministries, we continue to follow health and safety protocols, including screening and hand hygiene. Kingdom Life remains a mask-friendly environment. Many in our church family and community will need to continue to wear masks due to their own health needs or those of their families. As a church family and a community, we will continue to support the needs of each other regarding their masking needs and their choices. We appreciate your cooperation and support as we continue to keep everyone safe at Kingdom Life Ministries. This concludes our Sunday announcements. Thank you for listening.
Praise the Lord. Could you all stand? We're going to collect our day's offerings at, the time, at this time. Yes. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Give me Jesus in the morning. Give me Jesus in the evening. Every moment of the day. Just give me Jesus. Give me Jesus in the morning. Give me Jesus in the evening. Every moment of the day. Just give me one more time. Give me Jesus in the morning. Yeah. Give me Jesus in the evening. Every, every hour of the day. In the morning, give me Jesus. In the evening, every moment, every moment of the day, just give me, just give me Jesus. Oh, give me Jesus. In the morning, yeah. in the evening, every moment, every hour of the day, give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Well, He's my reason. He's my reason for living. He's my source of survival. Everybody ought to know, everybody ought to know, some Jesus live, oh, everybody ought to know, some people don't know, everybody ought to know, some people don't know, everybody ought to know, who Jesus is, who Jesus is, oh, one more time, everybody ought to know. I expected it to be. 
it's better than I expected it to be. This joy and the Jesus gets to be. It's better. It's better than I expected. It's better. It's better. I expected it to be. One more time. It's better. Better than I expected. It's better, better, better. Better than I expected. Hey. This time. It's better. Better than I expected. 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 Better, better. Better than I. Destroy my 
Jesus gives to me this Holy Ghost joy this Holy Ghost joy it's better all right it's better than I expected <laughs> It's better than I expected. How many God is better than you expected it to be? This joy that Jesus gave to me. Oh God. All right. There's a key in my hand. Sister Natanya Mason, God bless you. Come on, put your hands together for Sister Natanya. Woo! How are you? Woo! Woo! Father, in the name of Jesus, I hold this key in my hand. Thank you for blessing your daughter. Thank you for the vehicle purchased. Oh God, thank you for opening doors for her. Now God, I pray that Lord God, you'll bless her as she drives. Bless her husband. Oh God, keep her from danger, seen and unseen. Keep her from accidents, trouble and danger. I pray you continue to open doors for her, make ways. If there's any financial obligation attached to this vehicle, Lord God, bless her with this wherewithal to take care of it. Oh God, I thank you for loving her, loving her family. And I pray you continue to let your blessing rest remain upon her. On her behalf, we, we give you praise, we give you honor, and we lift you up in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody still stand to your feet. Stand to your feet, everybody. Come on, there's a sweet anointing in this house. I am not ready to let go of this anointing yet. Come on. Woo. Sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet. Come on, don't let go of this anointing. There's power in the house right now. Right here with us, filling us with your love. And for each blessing, we lift our hearts in praise. Glory to God. Without a doubt. Been revived. Been revived. Hey, oh, Jesus, 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 and for which blessing, for each blessing, we I know that there are many of us still nervous about COVID, but before you take your seat, put your hand on somebody's shoulder and just say the blood of Jesus upon you and take your seat.
The blood, 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 the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. 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 The blood of Jesus.
praise God because he's in the room. Come on, praise God, he's in the room. Come on, praise God, he's in the room. Somebody's still reaching out, but that's all right. He's still in the room. Come on, Holy Ghost people. Come on, Holy Ghost people. Come on, Holy Ghost people. Ah, yeah. He's in the room. He's in the room. He's in the room. He's in the room. Yeah. He's in the room. He's in the room. He's in the room. Come on, worship. Come on, worship. Somebody's getting their deliverance. He's in the room. Manda Boshata. Rabba Boshata Yabakosa. Come on, he's in the room. Can I have some worshipers in here? Mighty God, he's in the room. Holy Ghost is in the room. The anointing is in the room. Victory is in the room. Yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, I am Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's in the room. 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 Come on, turn up your worship. Come on, turn up your worship. He's in the room. He's in the room. Healing is in the room. Deliverance is in the room. Victory is in the room. Power is in the room. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. We praise God for his mercy and for his love. There's a sweet anointing in this house. Allow me to greet each and every one this morning, those this afternoon, those that are joining us virtually, those that are in the sanctuary, to our assistant pastor, district elder Weston Richards, to elder Renick Walker. Minister Randy Reed, Minister Darcy Davis, Minister Gary Harper, Minister Lennox Brown, praise God, Minister Nicholas Gale, Minister James Hughes, amen, Minister Athol Baker, to Minister Kareen Smith, our First Lady, to each and every one of our evangelists, missionaries, deacons, amen, our praise team, musicians, overhead technicians, media staff, to our sound technicians, our ushers, intercessors, deacons, everyone that's working in ministry, greetings in Jesus' name, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. The theme of our men's Sunday today, I will not be long before you. The theme of our men's Sunday today is spiritual insurance. And I'd like to preach briefly. This morning I preached, I am fully protected. Uh, today in the second service, I want to preach from this subject. He's got me covered. I wanted to look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, he's got me covered. Glory to God. Tell him I'm paying my premiums and he's got me covered. Ah, tell him I, the worship a while ago was a premium payment. Glory to God. I was just paying some premiums and he got me covered. Anybody know you're covered? Just raise your hand and just say, I'm covered, I'm covered, I'm covered. Glory to God. I'll try to be quick. Our text focuses on God's instruction to Israel as he's about to deliver them from Egypt. Some of us know the story of Israel, how they had been enslaved in Egypt for over 400 years. As slaves, they built roads, they built pyramids, they built palaces, and did all kinds of works for the Egyptians while they were praying, uh, praying daily for their deliverance. Our text today focuses on the deliverance from Egypt. They're ordered to kill a lamb and to prepare it for eating with bitter herbs. 
My secondary text is going to come to you from the book of Psalms, chapter number 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. But our main text is from the book of Exodus, chapter 12, which was read earlier. So these children of Israel were ordered to take the blood of the Lamb and use it to paint the exterior of the doorposts, one side, one side, and the upper post. This was a sign to God's death angel that when he passed by, when they see the blood, they would pass over the death of the firstborn. Now this was the tenth and final plague that came against Egypt. And as God promised, the death angel came. Homes that had the blood applied were speared death in that home. Those without the blood applied to the door, their door, their doorposts, they suffered the death of their firstborn, whether they were Israelites or not. For the people obedient to God, I can only imagine the joy inside their house because there was no death in the house. So brothers, I personally know the sorrow and the heartache of death. As you many, many of you know, I'm suffering probably the third close family member death right now. Amen. And there's a pain that comes with it that's inexplicable. But I believe there was joy in the homes of those who did not experience death. Now in, in the Bible, Egypt is a type of bondage. It's a type of sin. And the Bible tells us that the Lord took the Egyptians through a series of plagues in order for Israelites, for the Israelites to be delivered. However, their ultimate deliverance required the blood of the Lamb. And in just Genesis chapter 22, we read of Isaac going up the mountain with Abraham to be offered as a sacrifice. And I heard Isaac asking Daddy Abraham, I see the wood, I see the altar, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? When Isaac asked these questions, I believe he was introducing one of the major themes of the Old Testament as the people waited for a Messiah. And so even though God provided a lamb in the thicket instead of Isaac, that was not the ultimate lamb that would take away the sins of the world. And so when John the Baptist came as a forerunner of Jesus, we heard John declare when Jesus went to him for baptism by the river Jordan. In St. John 1 and 29, we heard John declare, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Sisters and brothers, the Passover lamb that we had in the book of Exodus is only a picture or a type of Jesus who is the ultimate lamb that was slain, amen, for the, your and for me, for your deliverance deliverance and for my deliverance and it was confirmed by the prophet or by the evangelist is uh, philip when in acts chapter 8 verse 32 to 35 philip met a eunuch an ethiopian eunuch eunuch glory to god and he explained to him the way of god and when philip spoke to him he brought him back to the book of isaiah chapter number 53 and verse number seven and it says there he was oppressed and he was afflicted yet he opened not his mouth he was brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearer is dumb so he opened not his mouth and so we're talking about Jesus here and so Paul in 1st Corinthians 5 and 7 he picked it up and he declared that Jesus was the Passover lamb that was sacrificed for us and Peter did not leave it untouched because in 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 19, Peter declared that Jesus was a lamb without spot and he was a lamb without blemish. And so my brothers and sisters, I thank God because Jesus was my substitute. That's why I praise him because, amen, I have no spiritual insurance without Jesus. That's why we declare to you that you must be baptized in the name of of Jesus. Amen. Your spiritual policy is not valid unless it's written in the name of Jesus. And I know there's somebody here. Your policy has been written in the name of Jesus. But it doesn't matter who wrote the policy, how it is written. If you don't pay the premium, then your insurance will lapse. Amen. I believe even in Christendom today, there are many of us whose insurance has lapsed because we have not been paying our premium.
premiums. Amen. Bishop, what are you talking about? You have to keep current on your premium. You can't live, you can't have this insurance with yesterday's worship. You better have some current worship in order for your premiums to be paid. I'm sorry for those folks who feel that they're so saved and so spiritual that they don't need to praise God anymore when they come to church. I'm sorry for those folks who think it's okay to sit back, relax, and enjoy the service. But there's a few of us in here who knows that we cannot survive unless we open up our mouth and praise God. Amen. You may think I am crazy and I'm noisy, but the reason why I praise God like I do is because I want my insurance policy to be current. Oh, is there any praises in the house this afternoon who don't mind praising the Lord? Amen. People may not like you in your role, but guess what? Amen. It doesn't matter what they think about me. I am a praiser. I don't make any apologies for my worship. I don't make any apologies for my glories. I don't make no apologies for my hallelujahs. And if there's anybody know what it's, what it's like to be pressed down by the devil, then when you come to the house of God, you will enter his gates with thanksgiving and you will enter his courts with praise. You'll be thankful unto him and you will bless his name because the Lord is good. Is there anybody here just glad to be saved? You're just glad to be a Christian. You're just glad to be in the house of the Lord. COVID could have killed you, but you're still here. Somebody shout glory. Sit down. I'm preaching too hard. Good God from glory. And so the Bible says uh, that Jesus died. Uh, watch this. Uh, he died a substitutionary death. What does that mean? Um, it means he died in my place. I should have been crucified. I should have suffered and died. I should have been nailed to the cross. Um, but the Bible said he substituted himself. And became my substitute. Second Corinthians 5 and 21 says. For he hath made him to be sin for us. Who knew no sin. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. I told the church this morning, amen, that Jesus did not know any sin. And God used him to be sin so that I could be righteous. I knew sin. I know sin. And guess what? I cannot be righteous without God. Amen. It doesn't matter how much times you fast. It doesn't matter how much time you pray. It doesn't matter how you dress and try to live holy. Without the righteousness of God, you cannot be made righteous and that's why I need him every hour amen that's why I gotta stay in God because in me in my flesh but there's no good thing amen I know some of you are sanctified and some people think you're perfect but there's a few of us in here know that if it wasn't for God we would have been cursing and swearing if it wasn't for God we would have been lying and stealing can I talk to some real people here Amen. I've been fighting and cursing. So I would be carrying a gun if it wasn't for God. Amen. So I would be smoking weed if it wasn't for God. Would be on crack and cocaine if it wasn't for God. And so when I come to the house of God, it's not because I'm perfect, but because God died for me. And I have a right to praise God because He is my reason for living. He is my source of survival. Is there anybody here in the house of God? that's what's glad to be in your right mind today you're glad that you can praise God I could have been out of my mind but he kept me his mercy kept me please take your seat it was the blood somebody tell the person beside you it was the blood and I'm here to remind somebody that the blood still works <laughs> Anybody believe that the blood still works? Oh, come on. If you believe that the blood still works, shout it in the house. That blood still works. I know it works. I said, I know it works. 
for it saved me I know it works for it heals me I know it works it cleans me is there anybody here thank God for the blood come on open up your mouth and praise him for the first time jump to your feet and give God a radical praise in this house come on praise him for the blood praise him for the blood somebody put your hand over your head I said I'm covered by the blood I'm covered by the blood now take your seat Woo! I'm covered by the blood I'm protected by the blood I'm sheltered by the blood hey! Hey, Abu Shataya. Reketo Satila Mahanda. Sit down, let's talk for a little bit. I have seven more minutes of work, then we'll wrap it up. The blood gives us spiritual insurance, Minister Harper. The blood provides a provision. You know, I was going to, I won't even go there, but let me, I'm going to let you research this. There is something called insurance, and there's something called assurance. Oh, God. You cannot have assurance without insurance. But you can have insurance without assurance. Oh, can I preach it in here? Oh, God. Oh, Lord Jesus. All right, let me get back to the text. Let me get back to the text. We'll preach about assurance one of these days. You see, some of us can't dance because we don't have assurance. The blood, I get back to the blood, provides provision. The blood provides covering. So when I get to Psalm 91, you see, I love this Psalm. The Spirit is repeating to us the same instructions that were given to the children of Israel. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow. That word shadow means covering. Shall abide under the covering of the almighty i will say of the lord hey i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my cut in him will i trust So, what is it, church, that we need to do? I don't want to shout this out because this was sweet when God was giving it to me. God said, you have to dwell in the shelter. You have to live in the covering. You have to rest in his shelter of his protection because he's got you covered, Deacon Smith. When the Lord gave the instructions to the children of Israel, he promised them safety. When they applied the blood to the lintel and to the doorpost. He said in verse 13, the blood shall be a token upon the houses where you are. And he said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the, word, the land of Egypt. He used a particular Hebrew word. Glory to God. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. He used a Hebrew word, the Passover means it's passage. P-A-S-A-S-H. That word passage means to wing over. Means to wing over. Just like when a head, hen would gather, glory to God, her chickens, put her wing of protection over them and cover them against the predators, against the elements. God said, I'm going to put my wing of protection over you so that the destroyer would not come to destroy you. And when you get to verse 4, oh God, of Psalm 91. Watch the revelation in verse 4 
of Psalm 91. Help me overhead people. He shall cover thee with his feathers. Somebody, you'll get it in a few minutes. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. Now most of us do not differentiate between feathers and wings. But there's a difference between feathers and wings. Feathers are usually soft and gentle. Wings are usually tough and hard. And so feathers, glory to God, is compared to the firmness of God. Sorry, feathers is compared to the gentleness of God. And wings are compared to the firmness of God. While the feathers give you comfort, the wings give you strength. Glory to God. The eagle cannot soar with only feathers. The strength of the eagle is in the wings. The protection of the evil eagle is in the feathers. And so the feathers protect the wings. Oh God. Stay with me, stay with me. Sisters and brothers, you can relate the feathers and the wings to two identities of God. Feathers relate to the grace of God. True, uh, wings relate to the truth of God. Some of us love the grace of God, but we can't handle the truth of God. Can I teach it for a few minutes? The grace of God says, I've gone to prepare a place for you. And when you come again, I'll receive you. And we love the fact that we have a heaven prepared. That's the grace of God. But the truth of God says, repent. And be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus. We want the grace without the truth. I take up. And so you want to go to heaven without the baptism. But you can't soar without the wing. Good God from glory. You need the wing to fly. Is there anybody ready for flight today? Somebody shout, I'm covered, I'm covered, I'm covered. I need the wing of God. I need the truth of God. Walk in holiness. Walk in righteousness. Be saved and sanctified. It's not the pretty part about salvation. You need some hard stuff. I'm going to teach for five more minutes and then I'll be done. In these last days, there's so much emphasis on the grace of God. Hmm. And we cannot comprehend that you cannot separate the truth of God from the grace of God. In other words, the grace of God is of no benefit to you without the truth of God. Just as how the feathers are of no benefit to the bird without the wings. And so I heard in Luke 13, 34, Jesus started to lament, Sister Natanya. He said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killeth the prophets and stone us them that are sent unto thee. And we're in a generation where people are trying to kill preachers. <laughs> criticize leaders. Mighty God. Find every fault with the people of God. But he said, I have sent them this, I sent them unto thee. He said, How often would I have gathered thy children together as a hen doth gather her brood under her wings? Watch this. And you would not. You see, we all want insurance, but we don't want to pay the premium. But you can't have coverage without the premium. And I'm closing in the next five minutes. But I came by to let the church know I don't know about you. But I know I'm covered. He's got me covered. Is there anybody here that knows they're covered? Somebody shout in the atmosphere. He's got me covered. Hallelujah. Can I preach for seven minutes? 
Can I tell you this? That we are living under the umbrella of God's anointing. We are living under the umbrella of God's protection and blessing. The ultimate purpose of an umbrella is to protect you from the elements, whether it is the sun or the rain. And insurance, if anybody work in insurance industry here, wave your hand. In the insurance industry, there's something called an umbrella policy. Am I right, Sister Joya? There's something called an umbrella policy. And sisters and brothers, when we are protected by God's spiritual umbrella, we are covered by an umbrella policy. Can I preach it like I feel it? And so in Exodus 13, God was giving the children of Israel an umbrella protection. And the Bible said, in about verse 31, 21 to 22, I'm going to be your protection by day and by night. And the Bible said, he was going to be a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Good God from glory. Somebody shout, he's got me covered. I'm covered by day. I'm covered by night. And I heard the eagle eye prophet by the name of Isaiah. He picked it up in Isaiah 51 and verse 16. And I heard Isaiah said that I've covered thee in the shadow of my hand. Good God from glory, I put my words in thy mouth and I have covered thee in the shadow of my hand sisters and brothers for 40 years God gave direction and protection to the children of Israel by a cloud by day by fire by night when the cloud moved they began to move when the fire moved they began to move if you lag behind you became dead by the enemies and that is why we gotta stay under God's umbrella we gotta stay under God's perfection sisters and brothers you can't leave God you can't leave the church you can't backslide you can't run away if you leave the church the devil is gonna kill you you can't be protected without the anointing you can't be protected without the Holy Ghost is there anybody here the only reason why you're still alive is because of the anointing sisters and brothers raise your hand in the atmosphere the Bible says it's the anointing that breaks the yoke it's the anointing that destroys the yoke that devil come upon me like a flood but i thank god that the spirit of the lord will lift up a standard against the enemy that's why i praise him that's why i lift him somebody jump on your feet and give god another payment Pay another premium. Pay another premium. Glory. 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 Somebody touch your neighbor on the shoulder. Tell him I'm covered. I'm covered. I'm covered. Aya. Aya ya koshada. Rababa koshanda la baha. I'm covered. I'm covered. I'm covered. I'm covered. I'm covered. I'm covered. I'm under his wings. I'm under his wings. Please be seated. I'm almost finished. Jesus. 
He's got me covered. I don't want you to miss this today. Because as you know, I can get noisy and stuff. But before I close this message, I want to take you to a very poignant and significant scripture in history. Psalm 27, verse 5. Overhead technicians, get this up for me. I want you to read that for yourself. Get in your spirit. I want everyone that's in, going through some troubles today to stand. I am standing. It may be spiritual, it may be financial, it may be physical, it may be marital, it may be death, it may be sickness, it may be work trouble, it may be... Last week I said I've got issues but I'm anointed. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me. Glory! He shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me oh jesus glory to god and watch this watch this after he finish hide me Hey, he shall set me upon a rock. Glory, 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 glory. Somebody open your mouth. Oh, oh bless rock of ages. I'm hiding in thee. He shall set me. He shall set me. He shall set me. He shall set me upon a rock. Glory. 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 Glory, 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 glory. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. I'm covered. I'm covered. He's got me covered. He's got me covered in the time of trouble. He's got me covered when sickness lays me low. He's got me covered. When death is in my house, he's got me covered. When I can't find my way, he's got me covered. When I'm losing my mind, he's got me covered. When I'm troubled, he's got me covered. Somebody say to somebody, he's got me covered. Tell your neighbor, he's got me covered. Tell the person beside you, he's got me covered. Come on church, come on church. Come on church, it's better than I expected it to be. I'm covered. Glory, glory, glory. Come on worship him. Come on worship him. Come on worship him. Come on worship him. Come on church, I can't hear all of you. I can't hear everybody. I'm still not hearing everybody. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, worship him. Come on, worship him. Come on, worship him. Come on, worship him. Come on, worship come on church come on church open up your mouth everybody it's time to worship come on speak deliverance come on speak life in the house speak healing in the house speak victory in the house yeah yes lord yes lord 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, I hear Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's got me covered. Hey. 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 The altar is open. For somebody who needs glory to God to be saved, to receive the Holy Ghost, to receive protection, whatever it is that you need, glory to God. The blood is going to be applied right now. The altar is open. I invite you to this altar right now. Do not walk out of here. Come on, don't walk out of here the way you came. In the name of Jesus, if you need victory, if you need the Holy Ghost, if you need coverage, if you need strength, if you need to be baptized, whatever. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Whatever you need, whatever you need. Glory to God. Come now, come now. Come in an abacoshanda. In the name of Jesus, Rebe Shekosa, Ila Makosanda, Ketebo Shanda Makosaya. Glory to God. Come on, come on, come on, right now, right now. The altar is open. Come on, you know you need Jesus. You know you need victory. You know you need healing. You know you need strength. Hey, 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 come, 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 come. I say, come, 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 come in the name of Jesus. Come in the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. We need some altar workers. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's power, there's power. There's power, there's deliverance, there's healing. There's victory, there's joy. Glory, glory, glory. Come on, open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth at this altar. Come on, worship him, worship him. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, worship him at this altar. Glory to God, glory to God. We break yokes. We break yokes right now. We break yokes right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Missionary Jenny. Come on, come on, come on. If you're a missionary, come and work this altar. Abo Sheko Rabasanda. Hila Boshanda. Come on, church. There's Holy Ghost in the house. Mighty God, mighty God. There's victory in this house. Oh Lord. My my my. Hey Boshanda. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, there's an anointing in this house. Stir up the atmosphere. Come on, stir up the atmosphere. My, 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 my. I speak deliverance. I speak life in this place. Glory to God. Glory to God. Worship. Come on, worship. Worship. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, come on, come on. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost and fire. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, church. Come on, church. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. Mighty God, mighty God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, church. Come on, church. Rabba Bashanda. Worship, worship. Worship, worship. I know you want to sing, but we go worship a little bit. Maketosa. Keep the worship going for me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Hallelujah. Have your way, Jesus. Lord, we need you, we need you, we need you. God, we need you, we need you, we need you. 
Hallelujah. Heal and deliver, Jesus. Pour out your spirit, Lord. Oh, send your anointing, Jesus. Oh, make a way, Lord. Have your way. Glory to God. Come on, church. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Deliverance. 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 Robo Shandala Bahaya. Deliverance. Deliverance. Victory. Victory. Deliverance. Victory. Power. 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 Power, power, power. In the name of Jesus. 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 Mighty God. I speak deliverance. 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 Ah! Jesus, Ah! 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 Glory. Come on, church. There's deliverance in this house. There's deliverance in this house. There's victory in this house. There's joy in this house. Hallelujah. Cover. Cover. Yes, Lord. Cover. Glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, boy, shut up. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Come on, church. Come on, church. Worship. The Holy Ghost is coming. Worship, worship, worship. Mighty God, mighty God. 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 Jesus, Jesus. I speak deliverance here. Yes, Lord. Have your way, have your way. Have your way, have your way. Move by your spirit. Move by your power. Yes. We need you, Jesus. Yes. Yes. We need yes. You, Jesus. yes. Yes. We need Holy Ghost. You, Holy Ghost. Jesus. Holy Ghost and fire. Have your way, Lord. Holy Ghost and fire. Have your Holy way, Ghost and devotion. Rebe be shata. Holy Ghost and fire. It's in the house. It's in the house. Come on, altar workers. Yes, Lord. Have your way. Yes, Lord. Have your way. 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 Oh, we need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Jesus. Send your anointing, God. Fall of on us this morning, God. Hallelujah. Hide us, Lord. In the shadow Come on, of your Russia. almighty power. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Hide us in the cleft of the rock, Lord. Oh, cover us right yes, now, Yes, Jesus. yes, yes. Holy Ghost. Have your way, Jesus. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need Come on, you, worship, worship. You. Come on, church. We need you, we need you. We need you, we need you. Go We need you, we need you. We need you, we need you. We need you, we need you. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Father, we need you, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Here we are, Jesus. Come on, church. Come on, church. Standing in Come the need of prayer. Come on, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Come on, church. Come on. Move by your spirit, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Holy Ghost. Lord, Holy Ghost and fire. Yes, Lord Jesus. 
We say yes, Lord. Mighty God, we mighty God. Yes, mighty God. Mighty we God, say mighty God. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We say In the name of Jesus. Yes. We say In the name of Jesus. Glory. Glory, glory. Glory, glory. Glory. Come on, worship him. Come on, worship him, worship him. Come on, worship him. Come on, worship him. Somebody's getting their deliverance. Somebody's getting their deliverance. Glory. Come on, come on, come on. There's power. There's power in the church. Yes. 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 We say 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 yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory. 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 We need you, we need you, we need you. Pour out your spirit, Jesus, and fall afresh, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. Yes, Lord. Completely, yes. Completely, yes. My soul. My soul says yes. I say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From the bottom, from the bottom of my heart, to the depths, to the depths of my soul, yes, Lord. Completely, yes. Completely, yes. My soul, my soul, says yes. I'll say yes. I'll say. Oh, yeah. To your will, to your will, and to your way. Oh, I'll say yes. Lord, yes. I will trust you. I will trust you and obey. When your spirit, when your spirit speaks to me, with my whole with heart, my whole heart, I'll agree. And my answer, and my answer will be yes. Lord, I'll say yes. I'll say yes, Lord. Yes. To your will. To your will and to your way. I'll say yes. I'll say yes, Lord. Yes. I will trust I you. I will trust you and obey. When your spirit, when your spirit speaks to me, oh. my whole heart I'll agree, and my answer. Come on, the Holy Ghost is in this house. Rest upon them right now, God. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Mm, Jesus. Mm, mm, Jesus. 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 Hela busha mama sa. Holy Ghost. Jesus. Holy Ghost. Yes, God. Right now. Right now, God. Fill them with the Holy Ghost. Fill your daughters. Fill your children. Come on, young lady. Reach out. Come on, reach out. Come on, reach out. Don't give up. It's right there in your mouth. It's right there. Yeah, it's right there. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. 
Robosha. Ma, ma fear. Call Jesus. Mm. I'll mm. yeah, to your will and to your will. Mm. Oh, Jesus. 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 I will trust you. Jesus. Jesus. With my whole heart. Give us a few minutes, church. Give us a few minutes. Go, Rich. Oh, God. I know it's time to close, but give us a few minutes. Ah! Hey! Jesus, 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 mighty God, mighty God, Jesus. Hey! When your spirit. We trust you, trust you and obey. when your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart I'll and my answer will be yes, 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 and my answer will be yes. Sweep over my spirit. Sweep over my spirit forever I pray. Oh, oh. Holy Ghost. Wonderful peace. Wonderful peace. Coming down. Coming down from the Father above. Sweep over my spirit. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Glory to God in the fathomless billows. Jesus. One more time. Peace, peace. Wonderful peace. Coming down. Oh. Sweep over my spirit. Come on, put your hands together and bless the Lord, everybody. Listen, if you're not yet baptized in the name of Jesus, this is your time to make your commitment to God. Give your life to Him. Get insured beyond the grave. Come on, pay your premium. Get baptized in the name of Jesus. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. We thank God for those at the altar travailing. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. It's not over. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Don't give up, sisters and brothers. Let her sit there. Just stay beside her. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
there's a spirit of revival in our church. Glory. Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. We give God thanks. Before we conclude this service, there's one more thing I got to do. I just need to announce the um, new department heads. Praise God and pray for them. Praise the name of Jesus. Before, we get, before I get the envelope from, you can bring the envelope, Elder, District Elder Richards. Um, so I'm going to recognize our electoral committee members. I'm going to ask you to just to, um, I won't even bother bring you up here. I just let you stand where you are. Sister Catherine said, oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Can you stand, Sister Catherine? Uh, brother brother um, Patrick. But the, yeah, that's right. I'm right. Sister Donnelly. Elder Richards. Uh, Sister Missionary Jenkins. Is she here? Stand. Oh, yeah, she have a baby in her hand. Y'all know Missionary Jenkins. All right. Just so you know, while I remain standing, this is our electoral committee. Sister Catherine was responsible for um, the nomination process. Amen. She also was responsible for compiling the election results. Just so you know, Missionary Jenkins, she created the program, make sure everything was good with the program. Then she, she left the committee because she was also running, so she could not be a part of the election process. So she was the first part of it to make sure everything was set up because she has experience with it with CDC. Once everything was set up, she backed off, and it was in the hands of the rest of committee members, Sister Catherine, doing all the compilation of the numbers. And so I wanted to put your hands together for an electoral committee. <laughs> Brother David, Sister Donnelly, Sister Andrea, all the meetings, Sister Catherine, Elder Richards, all the meetings and the great work you do. I salute you all. Thank you so very much. You may be seated. All right, so this, this, I'm going to ask, um, I want to thank God for our past presidents, and we will acknowledge them at another time. Amen. Many of our past presidents served for a long time. Some of them served for a, year, for a long time. Amen. The Women's Department, Lady Smith has been president for, I don't know how long. Praise God. She's been president forever. So she's going to hand over the mantle. And so we're going to start with the Deacons Department. And so our, our, um, this is an elected position. Um, from uh, only amongst the deacons. And so our head deacon is going to be Deacon Selvin Spencer. Can you come forward, Deacon Spencer? And start over here because we're going to go all the way, uh, we're gonna have to go all the way across. He'll be assisted by Deacon Glenn Hudson. Come on up, Deacon. Come stand beside Deacon Spencer, please. Praise the name of God. Um, for our usher department, our head usher is going to be Sister Shernet Simpson. Put your hands together for her. Come, Sister Shernet. And she will be assisted by Sister Marcia Simmons. Come on, put your hands together for her. Come on up, Sister Marcia. Where is she? Where is she? She ran away. Come on, can you please move expeditiously, everybody, please? Amen. Move, put some pep in the step, Sister Marcia. Come on, move up expeditiously. All right. For our Christian Education Department, amen, the head of Christian Education will be Sister Eliva Baker. Come forward. Is she here? Oh, she has babies. Praise God. And we do not have an assistant to Sister Oliver yet. She is coming. Amen. So we'll be working on finding somebody. Amen. Everybody um, declined. Praise God. They all declined. Praise God. Amen. So we'll be finding an assistant to Sister Oliver. So it's Sister Oliver and I and her admin team will be working. So let's go to the, elect, the elected position. Um, these are the ones you voted for. Starting with the men's department. We had three candidates for men's president. We had Deacon Donovan Smith, uh, Minister Lennox Brown, and Minister Kevin Newell. And the winner of the men's president is Minister Kevin Newell. Come forward, Minister Newell. The first assistant to the men's president, we had three candidates. We had Deacon Donovan Smith, we had Minister Lennox Brown, and we had Brother David Lawrence. And the winner of the first assistant to the men's department is Brother David Lawrence. Come forward, Brother David. <laughs> if 
For the men's second assistant, we had four candidates. We had Deacon Donovan Smith, Brother Le Minister Lennox Brown, Brother David Lawrence, and Brother, Brother O'Brien McKenzie. And the winner of the men's second assistant is Brother O'Brien McKenzie. Come on, Brother O'Brien. We're seeing some new faces here. Amen. I'm, it's exciting. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Our women's president, we had three candidates. We had Missionary Eusena Golden, Evangelist Judith Hughes, and Minister Darcy Davis. The winner of the women's president is Minister Darcy Davis. Come forward, Minister Darcy. For the women's first assistant, we have three candidates. Sister Marva Tapper, Missionary Eusena Golding, and Evangelist Judith Hughes. And the winner for the women's first assistant is Evangelist Judith Hughes. And she's, she, had surgery on, she had surgery on Friday, so she's not here today. Praise God. The women's second assistant, we had four candidates. We had Sister Katie Ann Foster, Missionary Eusena Golding, Sister Natalie Connock, Hummock, and Sister Sanisha Brown, and the woman's second assistant is Sister Sanisha Brown. Come on, put your hands together for her. Oh, she has the baby. Come, minister, take your baby. <laughs> Praise God. Come on, put your hands together for her. Sister Sanisha Brown. All right, all right. And the youth president. Amen. We had two candidates. We had Brother Deacon Lamar Edwards and Minister Randy Reed. And our youth president is Minister Randy Reed. <laughs> Minister Reed, you hear the shouting. I hope they'll be working when you call on them. Eh? <laughs> Our, our youth first assistant, we had two candidates. We had Sister Natalia Mason and Deacon Lamar Edwards. And the winner is Deacon Lamar Edwards. The youth second assistant, we had five candidates. We had uh, Minister Randy Reed again. We had Deacon Lamar Edwards, Brother Dylan Smith, Brother Malik Mason, Sister Jasmine Blake. And the winner of the second youth assistant is Sister Jasmine Blake. I did not know your shout when you lose. <laughs> All right. All right. And so, Kingdom Care. Kingdom Care. We had four candidates. We had Missionary Eugene Smith, Minister James Hughes, Missionary Sonny Irish, and Missionary Andrea Jenkins. Kingdom Care president will be Missionary Andrea Jenkins. For the Kingdom Care First Assistant, we had 10 candidates. We had Deacon Gary Simpson, Sister Shannon Simpson, Sister Carol McNeish Hibbert, Sister Marvia Scott, Missionary Opal Robinson, Missionary Sonia Irish, Missionary Jenny Smith, Sister Diane Janor, Deacon Glenn Hudson, and also Sister Andrea Jenkins. The winner of the first assistant to the Kingdom Care is Deacon Glenn Hudson. So he's in two position over here. <laughs> Kingdom Care, second assistant. Okay, second assistant. We had eight candidates. We had Mich Sister Carol McNeish Hibbert, Sister Sir Missionary Sonny Irish, Brother Alburn Jenkins, Missionary Marvia Scott, Missionary Jenny Smith, Sister Charlene Miller, Deacon Glenn Hudson, and Sister Simone Duncan. Kingdom Care, second assistant is Sister Simone Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> Kingdom Care Outreach President. We, had only, we only had one candidate. She's acclaimed uh, Evangelist Laverne Rose. She's a president. Come on, put your hands together for her. Uh, for 
the Kingdom Care First assistant. We had one, two, three candidates. We had Sister Latoya Linice, or Sister Lenisa or Latoya Roden, Sister Nikki or Sister Deidre Smith, same name, Sister Joylette Nicholas. And the winner of the Kingdom Re Outreach First assistant is Sister Joylette Nicholas. For the Kingdom Outreach Second Assistant, we had Sister Joanette Nicholas, Sister Deidre Smith, Sister Anicia Foster, and Brother Odin McCormack. And the winner of the Kingdom Outreach Second Assistant is Brother Odin McCormack. <laughs> Come on, put your hands together, stand to your feet, and put your hands together for all our new presidents and assistants. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God. I lost Sister Catherine. Where is Sister Catherine? Okay, Sister Catherine, do you certify that these are the true results as compiled based on what you did? So she certifies it's the true results. So put your hands together for Sister Catherine. We want to pray for these our new leaders i am excited about the leadership team amen in our you know all our departments i believe we have some great great leaders that will stand on the shoulders of those who have gone on before i want to thank all our past presidents and vice presidents and everyone that worked this is by no means um that you haven't done a good job but it's time for transition they will serve a term of four years years until our next election we're gonna pray for them for those who are here and for those who are not here all right just once we will do that immediately after we're gonna pray for those who are here and for those who are not here that God will bless them cover them please I'm asking you to work with them in ministry let's make this church glorious um, they will have one month to transition May 1st effective May 1st they will take up all their duties and responsibilities between now and May 1st we're asking all the past presidents to give all your information over to them everything you've been working on all your past plans and everything so that they will take it and start to create their mandate as we go forward to the future um, for the youth department um, you will have your final youth Sunday um, on the second Sunday of April and then from then on Minister Randy and his team will continue the women's department the women's Sunday in April the fourth Sunday will be the final Sunday that Minister Smith and her team will operate and will be handed over to Minister Davis from then on today is the last men's Sunday that's been conducted by Minister Gary Harper and his team and we thank God for you and so you know I kind of decided I was going to preach the two service to take out the men's department and I want to thank God for everyone I'm going to ask um, our district elder Western Richards to take a mic please please sir and just come and pray a prayer of covering over all these our new department heads and assistants let us pray Heavenly Father we thank you Lord God for your goodness we thank you for each and every one, Lord God, that is standing in front of me today. Lord God, you orchestrated this day. You ordained this day. You know that, Lord God, they would be here. And Father, Lord God, if heaven, we want to thank, Lord God, for the past presidents and auxiliary leaders, Lord Glory God. We thank God. you for the work that you have done, to, oh God, to further your kingdom. And right now, Lord God, if heaven, as these, oh God, mm. your new candidates have been, Lord God, selected, Lord God. I pray in the name Bless of them, Jesus, God, Bless that you'll them cover Lord. them on your wings. Jesus. Lord God, I pray, oh God, that you'll touch them from their head to the very sole of their Glory feet. Give them God. strength. Give them wisdom for the journey. God, we know, oh God, if heaven, there'll be days ahead, Lord God, that is challenging. Lord, them, Lord. God, that you'll equip them for it, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, if ever not, Lord God, you'll take this, oh God, church to new heights. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for each and every one, Lord God. And I pray, Lord God, as they work, help them to know they're working for you and not for others. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, even when they feel like giving up, I pray, God, that you'll push them, Lord God, to go forward. In the name of Jesus, God, cover 
over them today, Lord God. Hallelujah. Bless them, Lord God, God. in every endeavor, in every plans that they shall put forth, Lord God. Let you be the leader of that yes, man. Oh God. God, for every department, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord God, of every Lord God. Save souls in the name of Jesus. In the, in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you for everyone now, Lord God. And I pray a blessing upon Lord them. Bless them in their Lord going God. out. Bless them in their coming, yes. in, Lord God. In the name Jesus. of Jesus, we pronounce Lord a blessing all over for each and every one right now. And we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor in Jesus' Come name. Come on, put your hands together and bless, bless God. God. Now, don't leave yet. Don't hold on. Not to congratulate. Hold a second, Minister Davis. Hold a second. Hold on. I have another big announcement. Oh, praise God. I have a greater announcement. I know this is wonderful, but I have a greater announcement. There's a soul that wants to be baptized in the name of Jesus. I, I met this young lady a, f a few years ago in Ottawa when Candice went, was at university starting her second year, I think, or third year. I can't remember which year. Her third year. Sister Shanice. Praise God. Did I say the name right? Oh, Lord. Sister Shanice. <laughs> and you know what? We see her worshiping, coming to church, the anointing upon her. I believe God is going to fill her with the Holy Ghost quickly. She has asked to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. They will prepare her. I'm not sure when they're going to do that. Probably next week. Praise God. But we'll make sure we prepare her for baptism. Come on. Can somebody put your hands together and celebrate? Glory to God. She's going to be a new member in the kingdom. A new young person, Minister Reed. That will be added to the youth department we celebrate the revival we celebrate the revival in kingdom life now father we ask you to bless your daughter oh god as she seek to be buried in your name oh god fill her full of the holy ghost god even before she's baptized god your god you can fill her of the holy ghost thank you for her decision guide her lord god protect her keep her let not the enemy steal her decision but lord god will be fortified in your name in the mighty name of jesus amen can i pronounce it benediction then you can do all your greetings and now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before the thrills of his glory with exceeding great joy to the only wise god our savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forever till jesus comes the lord god's people say amen come on just congratulate one another and greet one another thank you for worshiping with us we pray that you were blessed if you would like to give to kingdom life ministries there are three giving options available the first option is via our website, www.klife.ca, and selecting the online giving option. The second option is by e-transfer to donations at klife.ca, and the third option is by check to 1166 Cardiff Boulevard, Mississauga, Ontario. All services are available for viewing online. Please continue to worship with us on our social media platforms. If you would like to be added to our mailing list, please send an email to info at klife.ca. Remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe on YouTube. And today is a new day, a new beginning, and our lives will never be the same again, because new life begins at Kingdom Life. We're looking forward to seeing you again next week. God bless you.